Hello, today I will be showing, I will be producing an introduction on the new and released Rainbow Loom by Chun. So when you first unbox it, you will see a manual on top, but you can toss it aside if you're going to watch my video. Then next I will show you and introduce you to the three parts of Rainbow Loom. The first part of course is the loom itself. The loom is where you pr place all your rubber bands and loom them. The rainbow loom, the, this is called the rainbow loom. What this does is it loop, looms the band together. But of course, I like to call this a crochet because this one snapped off. And I got a metal one instead. The metal one works way more efficiently. The third part to rainbow looms are C-clips and rubber bands. So as I said earlier in this video, rubber bands are used to be placed on this on this loom and then looped. And then afterwards, you will use the C-clips to attach two rubber bands together like this. You see here how these two rubber bands are attached together by a C-clip? That's how. So these are the three parts of the rainbow loom. Now I will introduce you to each part more, more, in, more in depth. So this the rain the loom itself has has two has can be dismantled and used and and used to make a larger loom by using two looms provided in two different sets. How you do that is you would use this crochet the back of the crochet given, turn it, use this nail this head part, bring it in, and then just lever it atop on both sides. And out it comes. Do that for the whole thing. And then you get three pieces. One piece has a red arrow in it. And you know this one is the uneven piece. So this one will be one one pin higher than the rest of the pieces. And there are two there are two formations in Rainbow Loom. One is the formation you just saw, the triangle type. And now I will I will replace the the pins to show you the square type formation. The square type looks like this. It's squared so when you when you place the rubber bands they come in a square rather than a triangle. So let's leave that aside. Now I will show you about the rubber bands. The rubber bands are just, you may think they are ordinary rubber bands, but they stretched very far for their size. And they are also soaked in water as Tuna stated before, to be nice and flexible and make sure they don't rip like other rubber bands. So basically that's all there is to it to making rainbow loom. So if you see, um, this is goodbye from Mr. Tutorials for Dummies.